Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here. I'm going to show you how to do the Dexcom sensor. I'm going to trick it right now. It's giving me my six hour warning. Here is, now if you see my belly, you can see the Dexcom right there. And you also see what this is called a SIM patch. I'll put this in the description below the video so you can order it on Amazon. You can get, you know, flowers for kids and whatnot. This is just a regular SIM patch. It actually has the correct shape to fit around the receiver and uh, the actual sensor. So you've got the sensor and the receiver. And here is my transmitter. Oh, I just said that in backwards. This is my transmitter. This is my receiver. I just love when I get that wrong. Okay, so now I'm gonna push my on button and you can see 103. Uh, and I'm going to hit my settings and I have to tap one and two to open it and I missed it because I'm trying to do it through the phone so I'm going to do this again okay and now you have when I go into the settings menu I'm going to hit my down arrow and it says are you sure you so I just and actually it went really really fast uh, I actually touched accidentally stop sensor. It says, are you sure you want to stop sensor? It cannot be restarted. A new sensor is required. Uh, so once again, if you've heard me before, I need to uh, immediately put this in my microwave. So I stop the receiver and the transmitter uh, getting information from each other. So uh, yeah, it can be restarted, but you have to fool it. Okay, it cannot be restarted. Oh, and it went off because I'm talking too much. Let's do it again. Hit it and I'm gonna hit my settings and it always makes me tap uh, one and two in order to get it open I tap down I say stop sensor am I sure yes I am sure I want to stop it and you can see it's stopping sensor now okay so my new sensor so what I do is I keep the barcode and this can be you can actually with your phone you can take a snapshot of that barcode. So it's 9311, that's my sensor. And I'm gonna just type in, I'm gonna hit new sensor. Let's try that again. And I have to do one, two, okay, to open it up. And I missed it again, because I'm trying to do it through the phone. And it says enter code, okay? As you can see, enter code. So I'm gonna enter my code. And only enter sensor code from the sensor you insert. So it is a particular code per sensor. And I need to tap my sensors uh, button. So I go up arrow and I go down arrow to get nine. I touch the next one and I need to go up arrow to three. And I touch the next um, code option and I need to do one. Yeah, it's hard to do that through the phone. Okay, one, one. So nine, three, one, one. And I need to confirm it. So I'm going to hit save and it asks me is this correct so it gives you uh, the option to check it and I say yes yeah, sensor successfully now I have to be quick about this because I've got my you know insert sensor attach transmitter uh, see product instructions for detail so I did say that right so the thing that's connected to my belly is a transmitter <laughs> Like I said, I get those backwards all the time, the good old dyslexia. Okay, so then it says start sensor. As soon as I hit this, I'm gonna bring it over to my microwave because I need to stop the microwave um, one, two, from, and see it's starting my sensor, starting, 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 okay. And I've got a two hour wound up. I, oh, quickly open my microwave, I close it, and I'm done, and I can walk away. Now, the advantage of this, okay, the advantage of this is my, my iPhone is still picking up all the information, uh, so I don't have to keep picking, pricking my finger for those two hours warm up. So that is the advantage of that, uh, and then in two hours I'll come back, and what's great is, as soon as I take it out, there's about a 30 minute warm up on that, but then it immediately connects to my iPhone, and my iPhone will stop giving me information that my sensor is going to stop or expire on me and it automatically connects and I'm just off and running and I have not changed the sensor on my belly and I'm going over 20 days now so that is how you extend the life of your sensor okay so one more thing that I thought of is if you are going to extend the life of your sensor 
First of all, make sure you clean your belly to begin with really thoroughly with alcohol. Make sure you don't put it on any scars, no wounds, anything. You need to really keep your skin, your skin clean. And then you put your sensor on it. And if you're going to extend the life of that sensor, make sure you don't have any itching there, any pain. You do not want to extend that sensor if there is some issue going on with it. But I have noticed if I keep my area very clean, I'm always checking it to make sure it's nice and secure. So there are little caveats in there. You need, everybody's different. Um, if you have skin that breaks down easily to begin with, you may not want to do this. So you just need to really analyze if you're a person that can actually extend the life of your sensor. Okay, that is the last tip uh, for this video.